Welcome back to the YouTube channel, The Engineering Survey. In last week, we discussed how to measure a horizontal angle and a vertical angle using a digital theory light. Today, I'm going to teach you the transformation of the theory light from the oldest one to the modest one. As you see here, this is one of the oldest types of uh, theory lights. And it's known as vernier transit theory light. But this is not the first generation of theory lights. The first generation of theory lights are called the Bernier theory lights. So the history of the theory lights goes back to the 14th and 15th century. So it has that much of history. So the first generation of theory lights were called as Bernier theory lights. Bernier theory lights had the similar appearance uh, like the Bernier transit theory. Here you see there's a vertical circle is attached together with the telescope to measure the vertical angle. Not only that, there's a separate horizontal circle is attached to find the horizontal angle. Right? In the oldest uh, vernier tool light, we could not transit the telescope to the other side. That means we couldn't rotate the telescope a full round, right? But in the vernier transit tube light, we have that option, we can transit the tube light fully and therefore it is called as the vernier transit tube. If you carefully observe, this vertical circle consists of a vernier readings where you can measure the angles easy. For that, magnifiers are attached to read the vernier readings, right? And uh, not only uh, for the vertical circle, but also for the horizontal circle, uh, verniers are there as well as the magnifiers are there to see the vernier readings. Like uh, in the modern instruments, there are clamping screws and tangent screws in the old ones. And this vernier transit tube light was very famous in 1988. Almost all the surveys use uh, vernier transit tube light. To, uh, do survey. Still, this vernier transit tube light is very uh, famous, but it is in a uh, modern form, right? So this is one of the modern forms of vernier transit tube light. We call it micrometer tube light, right? The difference here is there is a mirror attached uh, to the tube light to direct the sunlight. Uh, into the tube light because there is a different uh, mechanism to get the readings, right? So this sunlight is directed through the vertical and horizontal circles. There is a special telescope to observe the angular measurements, right? And all the parts are similar to the vernier transit tube light, right? So uh, the telescope can be rotated fully about the Trunian axis. So this is also a transit tube light, but it has a special name, it is called the micrometer tube light. The eyepiece you have are to measure the angular readings, right? So this is the modern form of the tube light and you are familiar with it because I have uh, explained it in the previous lessons, right? So this is called the digital tube light. Here the system is different uh, compared to the old versions. Here there is a special feature, uh, the glass circle is uh, there with the binary codes H2, the circle, right? When the light is passing through these binary codes, uh, there is a mechanism to convert the changes into the angular measurements. That's how the angles are measured by uh, digital geometry. Today we learned about four theodolites lights and the transformation of it. The first one is the vernier theodolite. light. There is no one to show you, but it is just similar to the vernier transit theodolite. light. And this is called vernier transit theodolite. light. So that name has come because uh, this telescope can be transited a full round and it has separate uh, a horizontal circle and a vertical circle. Right? Then the next generation is uh, the micrometer tube light, right? There is a different mechanism, and uh, unlike in uh, 
the vernier transit tube light and the vernier tube light you cannot see the circles, vertical circles and horizontal circles uh, from the outside, right? So all the case inside, right? And there's a different mechanism to measure the angles. And here it is a fully electronic instrument. It is very easy to handle because all the readings are shown here. Easily you can see the vertical angle and horizontal angle. And this is very user friendly and uh, handy instrument uh, than the oldest ones. But these are also very useful still among the surveys. This type of uh, tube light are now really being used in the industry. But still, this, these are very good for learning purposes. Right. So that's the uh, end of today's lesson. Right. Today we talk about the transformation of tube light. Right. Next day we'll meet and discuss the types of traverses can be done using the tube light. Thank you very much for watching this video. Coming up next is tube light part four. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for more of the very latest videos.